Tees, which is fair enough, you know, you want to focus on this university. They brought in Moose from the old TUC lineup. Very, very strong player, take nothing against him. But I haven't seen any of the TCM games. You'll know better than me, but by the sounds of it, it just doesn't look like that team has clicked. We'll see how good or bad they do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they've had some good games. They've had yep. some close matches. Uh, they took Envy all the way to the final round of Search and Destroy okay. after being down two. It was 5-3. They fought back, tied it up 5-5, five, five, and then just weren't able to finish that one. And really, the closest games from TCM today are, was going up against... Millennium at the very start. Oh, really? They were able to take game one. They won hard point after being down about 20 seconds. They won on slums this map on the final rotation with some big plays from Rich and Marky B. But they went on to lose the next three. It was really close, but Millennium was able to edge them out. And now Millennium, they're going to see themselves moving on. And these two teams, well, they're just fighting for third as we discussed. But I want to start out with Moose. And and talk to me about this guy's <laughs> game plan, because it seems he is going to be pulling yeah. out this sniper rifle. I, I, not taking it too serious here for Hardpoint. I, I kind of think that's going to be the um, the attitude from these both, both these two teams. I mean, he's, he's, he has changed his class. I think he's just maybe trying to go for an AP. That could be a legit strat. Who knows? But I think it's more of a, you know, both these two teams, they've not qualified. They know that they're just playing Constellation for third place in the group. And um, you can see Flux running out of the chick on. Well, actually, it's just a stupid thing. We've seen that quite a fair few people actually try and use this competitively more and more. And and Flux was using everything, like he was using a, a Type 25 earlier. Yeah. He, he actually is the one player this weekend that I've seen mixing up the strategy, mixing up the, the weaponry, going away from the M8 and just the MSMC. Yeah, we see Jake do that as well a lot for Team Infuse. He's been running the Type 25, and a lot of the American players have come and you know, they've been watching and they've been like, what is going on? Like they 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 can't understand why someone's running from the Type 25 because obviously M8. You know sometimes the A and 94 you see Killer use that gun a lot, but right now Flux just trying to do a little bit of work. You can see the the lead Enigma have at this point 40 to two points. Pucket, this is becoming very very one sided. <laughs> Look at this name, Ryder has rejoined the squad. I believe that's Mr. Wonderbread. Yeah, I was I, yeah. I was getting confused about that. Joke name. A, yeah, a little, little, little bit of a um. Uh, maybe a little pun there. I'm not sure if you know about that, I, about what happened with the G finite quali qualification. I heard about this, but maybe you should yeah. explain it to everyone else. Well, it's it's kind of a, a, a tough situation to know. I mean, Ryder was supposed to play with Wonder and, and try and get to the um, qualification date at G finite, and unfortunately he couldn't get there due to travel, which a lot of people thought it was a joke and he was just dodging because he didn't want to play. But to be fair, that has happened to me a lot of times where travel has messed up your tickets and you have to... It's, it's British transport. You don't want to know about it. It's boring. Really? Boring. Yeah, it's terrible. Do you guys have bad transportation? The worst. It snows a little bit and everything shuts. It's ridiculous. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I know. It Rough is. time for Ryder. So he didn't even play in the qualifier no. then. So basically and not even the online qualifier. They got immediately wiped out of the tournament. So the, the four-team qualifier quickly, swiftly turned into a three-team qualifier. And who won and that one? That was, Who did win that one? That's a good question. I think that would have been... I, I can't even remember. It was, it was, it was so long ago. I think it might have been a web that won it. Yeah, because they think they took down TEC in the final. Because that's where TEC should have qualified. And then suddenly TEC closed down as well recently. That was actually yesterday. They shut their doors. They're, they're done. They're done. They're TEC. They're done. You were formerly TEC Benson. Does I that was. make you sad on the inside? I cried a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I, I, there was tears shed. Did you throw your, your TEC jersey in the I fireplace? Actually, I actually do have my TEC jersey. It's framed, actually. You framed it? I, of course I framed it. I was actually going to bring it here to... You. Uh huh. But then I was like, no, I'd rather just beat you in my suit and jacket just because it's cooler. That's a great idea. So you put the TEC <laughs> jersey in a frame. Yep. Is, is it on a mantle or where it's, did, where it's, did you it's, put it's this? The, it's in the study. You, I'm, I'm redoing my stream setup so you're going to see it. It's all going to be really pretty. Really? Yeah. It's going to be pretty. I like your house. I want to visit it one day. <laughs> you should have done last time. You should have done last time, but no, you, you just wanted to go on a tour of Europe. You know, girlfriends make you do things that you want to do sometimes. So we got Rich <laughs> on your screen right now, and it's 71 to 45 TCM. Actually, you seem to take oh, it pretty serious, and snap. Rich just beasting it with the MSMC. Yeah, so, was so strong of a player. He really, really is using that MSMC. Go over towards Moose. He's got that M8 sat on that hill. Looks <laughs> just doing some work with that chick on. And you can see there the fight for that next 
Hard point is going to come down any second now. You can see someone anchoring right at the back. That's going to be Marky B. That's about screen. as far back as you can get. You can't really get any further back. Otherwise, you wouldn't be on the map at all. But Hardpoint is currently contested. Marky B is going to have Luke in his sight. Not going to be able to pick up that kill. But Flux on a bit of a rampage just to say that he goes down. Moose, meanwhile, on that hill, picking up some time. And to be fair, it's actually a relatively close game at this point. So what do you think about the washing machines on this map? Do you, do you <laughs> think, like, it's the power play, the position you need to get in? Because it's, it's tough because, obviously, you can, you can head glitch behind them. And it, it can become very, very dominant. But you know, there's actually banana side as well that you have to remember. There's Where's that at? A, have you not seen that? Actually, no, here, I'll point the mini map. So well, if I point the mini map, people aren't going to be able to see. But right now, where the bottom green arrow is, bottom green, that can also be called a banana because there's actually a group of bananas. There's also some oranges there as well. So you can actually call that the fruit corner if you really want to. The fruit corner, gotcha. That's, that's, just, that's just my, my personal. Yeah, it's a dumb oh. call out, but I'll let you go with it. Uh, well, we, got, washing machine. we got some streaks coming down. I mean, what do you call it? Laundry? I guess laundry would be a good attribute, but you know, there's no downy, there's no dish soap in there, and there's there's really no cloths or, or anything important. But you know, right now we got Flux on your screen and, and Flux three kills with this chick on. <laughs> what is what's this? What's his score? What's his score? You wanna see it? The Flux man is nine. twenty and nine with a chick on, <laughs> wow. four captures, three defends. And, and to put that into perspective, that's more kills than Moose and Rich combined. <laughs> Granted, Rich was sniping earlier. Let's see what he's got out now. It looks like they're in try-hard mode. Once again, MSMC going out with the B23R. I'm just curious, how many maps have both these two teams won going into this? Is it is it both on one, or is it... You know, uh, scumbag Brycey didn't write down the scores of the, uh, the, the match. I wasn't here for... I think it, TCM have won one, because MB3-0 TCM. Mm. Uh, and TCM got one map on and, Millennium. And, and Enigma, I don't think they've won a game. I think they've I think, oh, no, they won an S&D, so they, they won one. Ah, good good eyes there. Good eyes, good eyes. So they're both on one, so basically whoever wins this is going to be in third place. That'll be their second win of the day. Yes. On board with Rich, and let's see what's going wrong with him. He's oh, 10 and 18 at the moment. And uh, Flux, yeah, he just had a war machine. He's doing big things. Down goes the headshot from Rich. And he's just going to be hanging out inside this hard point. This was the strong positioning for TCM earlier. They pulled away against Millennium on that back hard point. Can they do it again? Four minutes left on the clock. Very tight game. Just eight second separation between the two squads. Yeah, very, very close game right now. It's right on your screen, a.k.a. Wonder. Just a little bit of a pun there. <laughs> for any of you guys at home that know the, the backstory to that, as we talked about earlier on, hard point has rotated. Can Wonder try and pick up that kill on Marky? Yes, he can. Nice use of his scorpion there with that laser sight and the plump bot just casually floating in the sky. Uh-oh, here comes the hellstorm though. I believe that's going to belong to Flux. Flux does not get anything with the carpet bomb, so he still has the war machine, and we'll see what he's going to do with this launcher. Whiffing once, connects twice, but is going to get met by a flak jacket. Perfect counter. Black's inside the hard point, and let's see what he can do. Now pulling out the AN-94 for the first time that I've seen today. Have you not seen that gun yet in this group? Not from not from really? Enigma. Actually, no one wow. has pulled out the AN-94 in the games I've cast. We've seen it. We've seen a lot of AN-94 in some of the other games, so it, it was kind of known that the AN wasn't a good gun to use at LAN, and then all of a sudden Killer started using it, and everyone was like, oh. Maybe it, maybe it is quite good because Killer used to go ham with that gun, and right now you've got black on your screen, proving that it can. Oh my god, he just destroyed Flux through that smoke grenade. But he's just showing you here that it can be used at land. He's, he's doing some good work with it. Same with uh, some, some other guns as well. Scorpion, that used to be one of the SMGs, which everyone was like, no, there's no point using that. And now you see more and more people use that gun as well. And there you see the timer down to 235 left in the game. We're jumping on board with Moose. He had a four kill spree. He's down though. It's all up to Marky B with the M8. B23R comes out. And nice double from Marky B is going to give them garage control. That was a huge kill. You saw all of the green arrows spawn around him now. And that could be a game changer. Let's see how much time Marky B and squad can rack up. Well, 25 seconds before this hill is due to rotate. 147 to 138, TCM are coming back into this game. Moose needs to pick up that kill. He's going to go for the pre-fire, pulls out his MSMC. Is anyone going to rush him from the front? Well, Black's going to shut him down with the AN-94. Flux looks like he's going to try and challenge with <laughs> the check on of all guns. He's been using it the entire game. He's been making it work for him. Can he pick up another oh. kill? Oh, my God, that gun he's is just filthy melting. with this, man. This is a Golden Boy favorite, and to be honest, he's, he's just squashing the opponents. He is squashing the imprint. You're, you're right. He is. He's destroying them all. And he's actually got himself a Hellstorm missile there. Is he going to use it on this next hill? That would probably be advised as soon as they lose control. See Flux drop that. He's actually working towards his... Oh, is that Dragon? 
That's a dragon. We have who's uh, got it. We we have someone in dragon fire. We saw this in the Giants game earlier on. I believe it's going to be. Is it right? Is it right? No. Who's, who's got it? It's got to be right. Yeah. Yeah, go. buddy. AKA Mr. Wonder. Mr. Wonder. <laughs> oh Aww, man, it took me forever to find it when I did. He died. Look at the score. 159, wow. 162, 70 seconds left on your clock, and we're going to have Sours now on your screen. Sours taking all kinds of fire. Wonder up top with the Scorpion will be taken down by Moose. It's just going back and forth up to Marky B, and he's going to beast it once again. Marky B going clutch when they need him in the middle, but this is where TCM was able to pull away against Millennium. They have the spawns. They've rotated early. Can they stop the push here? It looks like Moose just turned his back on an opponent, finds another one at blue, gets the kill with the MSMC. His teammates watch in middle, and they will tie the lead with Flux sitting inside that hard point, just 35 seconds left. This is all going to come down to how badly Enigma can push that anchor. And I don't think they actually have any streaks to break it, so they're going to have to rely on their gun skill. 25 seconds left, and this is looking like TCM are going to take the first game. They have a Hellstorm missile of their own. There goes the lightning strike as well. That's just going to destroy Ryder and Luke, or Wonder and Luke, I should say. And that's going to be game number one going to TCM. And it's kind of crazy to think, you know, G1, they were in the grand final. Now they're playing a consolation game. Yeah, you know, these guys are just going to have to pull out their washcloth and just rinse off after this one because it is all over. 206 to 169, Benson. What a performance from TCM at the end. They rotated that last hard point. They didn't get flustered. Marky B with the big plays in the garage early, then later inside the center hard point, and they were able to finish strong. Yeah, they finished very, very strong indeed. Flux there with your final kill cam. And 37 and 20, 10 defends. That is just a phenomenal play. You see, he was running around with a chick on. You just, you just don't see that. He just made that look so, so simple. Just destroyed everybody. Chick on. Chick on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the Chicom wins game number one with Flux in charge. We're going to quick commercial break. When we come back, we have more search and destroy. Don't go anywhere. It is the Charlie stream here from Gfinity 2. It is Puckett Benson, Enigma versus TCM. And, man, TCM. They're down early. We saw some snipers at the start. We did. But Flux, he was going hard in the paint the entire time. He was. He was getting. That's that's a basketball reference, right? Yeah. He's just going in this. Just, just what does it, it up. mean? He was just spraying everyone. Hard in the paint, actually. He was just getting up close, personal, throwing some bows and dunking it. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. You, you don't know I, what I mean. I, I, Do you have basketball no. here in Europe? Well, yeah, but it's Is just it because you guys suck sport. at it no one talks about it? <laughs> that escalated very quickly. That's all I'm going to say about that. So oh, we have a little all, American all I know is about All I know is Kobe and LeBron and MJ. That's all you need to know, There's really. those, those three, and it's like, say what? Do you, do you know any baseball players? Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. That's it. <laughs> From <laughs> That's the right. 1950s and hey, 60s. Hey, <laughs> he's, like he's like a hero to you guys, isn't he? Yeah, he's with pretty With your, with your Babe Ruth He's like that either. fat guy who could hit home runs. I think everyone appreciates a fat guy. Everyone was a good fat guy that hit home runs. Absolutely. All right, at the start here, you got TCM with the bomb early on. Moose is going to be pulling out a sniper. And we do have one TCM member down. It looks like Marky B took a moment to spawn in. He is back up, and they're oh. going to end it just because of that delayed start. Fair game here for Search and gotta Destroy. Got to be fair. Fresh start. Got to be fresh. Fresh like those veggies. Got to be fresh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we got <laughs> Black on the screen with the Scorpion with the first kill cam in. Doesn't count. You know, it's pretty interesting, though, because they were able to see what their opponents were using. And I can't believe Black was able to hit that headshot from that far. Pretty impressive with an SMG there. But Tricom's once back. Again, I was going to say, <laughs> the, the, the chi would you say, why did you say Tricom? Well, it's actually the Chinese, uh, what was it? Communist primary rifle. Oh. Chai Com, not Chicom, but well, Chicom sounds cool. I'll let you cool, and, right? and Golden Boy and everyone use like the weird name. So you're just gonna use the proper Actually, one? Actually, I think Golden Boy else. calls it the Chai Com, but I Is asked he? on Twitter one day and someone sent me a link. Oh really? I was like, I appreciate that. So it's Chai Com. Yeah, Chai Com. So all that time you let me say it incorrectly and you didn't let me know. Well, I figured maybe your British accent would like oh, okay. just cover it, but apparently not. I mean, I shouldn't know anything about Chinese weaponry. I didn't expect any better out of you, so. All right, here we go. Starting the game. <laughs> the MTAR is in the hands of Mr. Wonder. I and like this it. is actually one of my favorite <laughs> weapons. Sense. Oh, wow. Scorpion, MSMC, and we're going to watch the MTAR combat knife double concussion combo as Ryder's going to be the man who I thought he was going to go back, but he is going to be pushing hard. And already <laughs> the first kill is going to be scored by Flux with that Chicom. 
did not waste any time, just ran straight down the middle of the map, managed to pick up an early kill. And now four versus three, if he hits that shot on Sowers, that would have been disgusting, but not gonna happen. On board with Luke, with the M8. Still yeah. trying as hard as he can. Is that Cap? Did you just see a Cap 40 then? I uh, don't think so. Okay. Yeah, I'm he's dead sorry. anyway. It's okay. Black taking care of business though. Quick shots to the face of Moose, and he is going to be patrolling the cubicle here. Sowers is going to be backing him up, and now it's down to Rich and Sowers. The 1v1, the bomb picked up by Rich here as Sowers on the minimap. You can see he's just hanging out back. Rich spots him, I believe, behind this tank. And will he finish? Sloppy shots with the MSMC poking back out as Sowers, and Rich will seal the deal. Nice first round on defense. Actually, this is the attack, TCM, excuse me, as uh, Rich going to finish things off here. But now we're going to switch sides. Who's going to be the strongest search player for Enigma? For Enigma, that's a, that's a very, very tough to, to say. I would, you know, I would probably say either Wonder or Sours. Wonder or Sours. I, I would just personally, just from, you know, from knowing those guys, I, I love watching Sours play. Obviously, ex-prof player had a lot of success over in the European scene. Um, however, Flux is just like, nope, Chicom for the win. Yeah, well, did so, Sowers, where did he get his name? Is it, like, his last is, name, or does it, he yeah, really like limes and lemons, or, or or what is it about this guy? Maybe, like, Sour Sweets. Sour Sweets? No, I'm, I'm kidding. Um, his last name is, is Sowersby. So, okay. the Sowersby brothers, you know, there's, there's a lot of them. Have you not seen the Sowersby montages? Are they awesome? Oh, I need to show you those. Some of Can the you best tell me about these? Because, actually, Hastro was so talking about this last from night. The, he from said the Claude that. Four days. He said they had some of the best montages oh. in call, competitive Call of Duty history. Agreed. They are so, so, I'll show you them after. They, I'm they are just, they are so, so good. They, they're just such a good set of brothers. You know, they can edit, they can play, they can do absolutely everything. And, you know, Sowers has had some good competitive success. He's kind of, I don't want to say struggled to find a, a top, top team, but he hasn't been in a, a such a high profile team for, for a while now as he's, he's playing with the Enigma boys. Again, you know, you look at them all individually, great, great players, but obviously they've been knocked out day one already. So, not on that same level as some of the other European teams out there. It's not going to be easy this round either. Actually, nice push here from TCM through the middle. Sowers with the sniper MSMC combo is going to get one black in the back. Takes out Flux, so two down already for this TCM lineup. Marky B and Rich, the last two alive, and that bomb is rotating on the defensive tank. Look where Marky B is, ladies and gents. Sowers is gonna be hunting down Marky B's cover. Rich is gonna be to his left. Here's the battle, <laughs> and Rich says, what's up, Quickscope? <laughs> Absolutely nothing Sowers could do there. Not reactions quick enough. Marky B is gonna be left. No, one versus one. Marky against Black. Black Renown is one of the best ARs in Europe. Now Marky B using that chai uh Oh, oh, oh Peekaboo. One burst for Prone the win. single burst on Black. Let's see it one more time as it's going to be Marky B shutting the drawer on this round. 3-0, closing the door, Benson. Oh. I don't know if this Enigma squad can fight back. They were up two guys good. that round. It's not looking good for them. I mean, TCM, they're, they're just dominant. They really, really are a very, very strong team. And... You know, when you've got Flux and Kara running around with a Chicom, and that, I'm not gonna lie, that gun looks very, very good. You kind of want it now, I kind of, I, I might use it against you tomorrow. Oh, really? Maybe. I would accept that challenge. That, that's my secret little strat. I know you're gonna be running around with the fat. We've specifically allowed the FAL just so you can use it. Did you? Yeah. Oh, How that's, nice is that's that? That's fantastic news. <laughs> you know, I just need a scuff. <laughs> I was gonna have Hector play for me from Optic, but oh, hey, oh, Luke, the last one alive, and watch Flux just throw it back in his face. He's like, Luke, where you going, buddy? <laughs> Nowhere. That is just such a... a oh, was oh. that a leg? I'm pretty sure I saw Luke. Oh. Come on, Luke. You're better that than that. Hip fire is oh, real. No. no. Nice reactions from Flux as TCM is looking to go up 2-0. They just need two more rounds, and we're on board with Flux. Let's check our scoreboard. He's currently 4-2. and two. Rich, though, with the sniper, 5-1. and one. And let's see what he's up to this round. It looks like he's got... Yep, there's the... Overkill, out comes the sniper, and will he get a pick on A? It doesn't look like it. All the action's over at B as Flux is in the <laughs> kill feed it. before being taken down. Let's go back to Rich now as he's going to be covering his teammate's sniper fire everywhere, Ooh. and Rich is going to get your round ending kill cam with that shot on Sowers. Marky B getting the kill right before this as well. Do not mess with Rich when he has a sniper rifle in his hands. He is just lethal with it. So many clutches have come in the hands of a sniper rifle with Rich. Just so, so good. His accuracy is just insane with a sniper rifle. Very rarely misses his first shot. And TCM, well, they're 5-0 in the lead. It's looking like they could make this a complete and utter shutout. 
Enigma on your screen. We'll see what Black can do. Can they fight back from a 5-0 deficit? That is the question, or will they go home? It's really good. Yeah, their tails well, between their legs right now. I was going to say, are they going to go home with just one game one the entire weekend? You know how demoralizing that's, that is? That's pretty demoralizing. I have a chance to go home with the same amount of wins, <laughs> and I'm only playing in one match. <laughs> but that's just not going to happen. It's not. No. <laughs> you guys won last time. I know. I'll we're give gonna, it to we're you. We're going to win again. Yeah. You know the last time you I played Call of Duty? Probably la the last time you played, last right? Chief <laughs> yeah, last Chief Finney. I actually have a Christmas card ready for you. You do? Uh, yeah. And for his. And how's I love Christmas. You do love Christmas. All right, Everyone well, it's all up to Ryder and Luke. Meanwhile, Flux, he's going to pick up a sniper off a dead body. Rich, guess what? He's rolling. DSRs for I'm days. Calling, I'm calling Phase Kill Count Episode 1006. He's going to come up right now. Really? Probably not, but he's going to try. Oh, he's going to. No scope it. No scope it. No balls. You won't. You won't. You won't. Uh-oh. Flux gets one. Ryder answers back. One-on-one. -on -one. Rich versus oh. Ryder, a.k.a. Wonderbread. And Mr. Wonder is just going to run the bomb. Well, it's all the way at B. Ryder's making moves. <laughs> the <M -talk. laughs> God, I love that. Come God, on, Wonder. Do what you can, my friend. Do it for Ryder. Do it for Ryder. Do it for Ryder. You're running out of time. Hold that X button. Uh-oh. Rich, doesn't get easier than that. Quick scopes. Thumping it. It wasn't quite a face kill cam. Oh, man. So the boys from Enigma. Going to have to lick their wounds, bandage up, and hopefully they can come back in game number three. This is not looking good, though, man. This it's has not. to be a demoralizing tournament. Will this team stick together after this event? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. How many How many quid would you bet on that? I bet a lot of quid. By the way, quid is probably the coolest yes, word I've learned it, since <laughs> coming over here. For those <laughs> Americans watching, quid is worth a pound. Well, it's the same thing. It's like it's saying a buck it's, it's like instead of a, a dollar. Yeah, it's a buck instead of a dollar. All so. right. All right, quids. We'll see you later after this commercial break. <laughs> We're back, Pucket Benson. Party time. Enigma. Woo! TCM. Woo! Let's be honest. Raise your hand if you want TCM to win this. Quick 3 0s <laughs> all around. <laughs> That's what we're hoping for because everyone is watching the Optic TK match. Not everyone. Almost. Almost. Everyone Not here everyone. in the venue. Uh, if you go outside, there Bye. is a circle of human beings this. stacking on top of other human beings. No, there, was, there was an old guy watching this game when I went outside before. One guy. I know Swizz is watching. So of course, Swizz. King Swizz. Yeah. King Swizz. So, yeah, Lord um, Swizz. Lord Swizz. The great Lord Swizz. The great Lord Swizzle. <laughs> Swizz down. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, he's going to be watching this game, of course. But sadly, as we've said, both these two teams are out of G2. But as you said, the, the TK Optic game is going down. Had a quick flick through of the old Twitter. You know, the Twitter feeds you're, and whatnot. You're tweeting. And, no, I wasn't tweeting. I was I was reading the tweets, uh, and apparently Optic are 2-0 down. So for any of you guys that are, you know, hardcore Pucket Benson fans, and you're like, no, we're going to watch this game. Screw that game. Optic, they're 2-0 down. It's not looking good for them either. And one of the refs actually handed me a napkin with the note scribbled down. He said, Fury is going big for TK. Really? That yeah. doesn't surprise me. He's yeah. been going off all event. Every time I've watched him play, he's just been... So, so strong. It's, it's, it's scary at times. Have well. you ever seen Moose use a sniper in a CTF game? I've seen a lot since PAX and since Fizzurp with the sniper rifle and the attack combination. More and more people have tried to use it. And to be honest, people just can't hang like Fizzurp can. You can't hang with the Fizz, man. No, you, it's you the can't. SVU. I think that's what they're not realizing yeah. is it's not a DSR. It's a SVU. Well, here's a big kill as Black is taken down. Luke can't get to the flag in time, so that one will be returned by TCM. 0-0, zero, zero, 410 left on the clock as we have Luke getting picked off from behind. It's now Wonder's turn, and Wonder gets the beef from Flux's Tricom as well. This gun in this man's hand is so deadly. It's absolutely He's one evil. person. I, what's he actually got on that is what I'm curious. I'm going to wait to see off the next respawn and see exactly what he's using on that because he is dropping people very, very quickly. He's for another ambitious Kobe nade. And look at that accuracy as well. Not even missing a shot on black. Only having to fire two bursts. I mean, this gun is it, essentially like a, a famous. I, I love it, man. It's, it's great. I wonder how good it is at range because most of his kills have been pretty up close and personal. And I do have to say, so far, Flux has the kill cam of the series. If you were watching earlier that... That kill on Luke, who is jumping out of the store onto him. He just turned and bent him over. And look at the <laughs> score here. As the oh! knife, knife battle. <laughs> and it looks like we're going to see Luke be able to get the return. No, that did not just happen. I'm pretty sure it happened. Scuff Nation. That has to be a Scuff Nation kill right there. I think he's just playing uh, tactical and hitting his right joystick. 
That's default. No, that's default. Excuse me. I don't play this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shots going down. The flag's being escorted. That's Marky B with the flag in hand. As you can see on the minimap, you're going the wrong way, Marky. That's He's enemy territory, my friend. <laughs> he doesn't even anyway. care, though. Finally, Black is going to get the kill. The flag will be returned. More snipers inside the kitchen. And this has just got to be demoralizing when your opponents are using snipers on you. To be fair, I think we're using snipers as well. Well, I think I would too after losing a lot and being stuck in my base. Just be, I'd just be like, I'm not trying. Yeah. <laughs> that, that old excuse there. If I was using a sniper rifle, we weren't trying anyway. Don't yeah. think that really counts. And look how sneaky this Ooh. is. Luke, you, you just walked right in front of Rich, who's Rich been camping here. Sat at the back of the enemy flag. That's uh -oh. just filth. Rich has got. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. Big, big return here from. Oh, the PDW <laughs> play comes out here from Wonder. Oh, Why don't dude. people use this gun anymore? Was the nerf really it's that strong? Uh, apparently so. I, I personally, I, I used it again a while ago, and I, I didn't really see much of a difference. Okay. But apparently, when you spray it at a wall without firing, without sorry, without aiming, you can see there's a big difference. Ah, so the hit fire got majorly reduced. That's that's. We'll get we'll get this smoke play. He threw it down, fate's going stairs, and now there's the battle in the kitchen. Wonder is gonna get it, but Moose keeps it alive. Uh oh. Oh, look at, look at this, man. Look at this flag battle we got going down. Flag out in the ring for Luke. Flag in the hands of Moose, and Moose just turning. Salas, take a seat, he says, as he runs home. Put that in your montage. We got Luke <laughs> all the way back at his base, and it looks like one lone member of Enigma trying to push up from the apartments. Moose, he's smarter than that, just waiting for the poke from Black. This is going to be close on that return. Black's going to get taken down, but all the action's on the other side of the map. Can Rich get the kill? No, he can't. Oh, my God. Wonder just destroyed him with that PDW close range. Sal's going to get a kill on Flux. Both flags away from home. One minute, 10 remaining on this first round. Uh, no one's going after Marky B. No, I think Easy return, bro. I think everyone's, everyone's just, just sort of trying to defend the flag at this point. No one really wants to be that ambitious. I mean, Marky is... Sneaky B, man. He's being a sneaky beaver, is what he's being. That's Ooh. a kill. There's one. He's got one more to worry about. And here in the middle of the map, it's Flux and the Chicom doing damage. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? You're stuck between a Marky B and a Flux. <laughs> and Flux is going to get that return. This should be a 1-0 game. There it is. TCM puts it in. Two kills for Flux, two kills for Marky B, three kills for Moose. And Marky B deserves all kinds of credit, juking out a player in the middle of the map to get that flag return, pushing the pressure, forcing the player into flux. Oh! God nade? The God nade hit marker though. Three piece, oh, that would have been legit, but no. That, that hit marker though. He it, just he just launched that bad boy in the air. Does it excite you? It does. That was crazy. <laughs> if you got a kill, I'd high five. Oh, I would, I would, that would have been a high five moment. Yeah. Uh, 12 and nine for Mr. Rich. 14 and 6, 13 and 6 for Moose and Flux as Enigma was playing Ring Around the Rosie and Sour just gets dominated. Check this kill cam out one more time. It's like Flux is just playing with their food right now. They're just cutting it up, leaving it on the table. And Sowers bring around the rosy with the sniper. <laughs> Doesn't get much easier for Flux. Yeah, Flux is just saying, thank you very much, Moose. Be my bait. And that is going to be one flag to zero in favor of TCM. And they're looking at making this a 3-0 sweep. Snipe comes out for Flux. I think TCM is saying. Are they doing four-man snipers? We got just, this. I, th I think it's four-man snipers. There's, sure. a, there's actually MA on the back of, of Mr. Marky, it looks like. Oh, no, the pre A whiff. Uh-oh, he's up top. What is he at? Flux, I see him on the map. He's up top. I told you. Oh, double nade. Is that good? That's very good. Rich That's three the... down. Yeah. Are Let's they, go. Are they going to get this flag They're going to pull it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they spawned red, and you spot them, and now you're running right at them. I don't know about this play. Moose says, don't worry, guys. <laughs> I, I got, got it covered. Health's on one spot, That's maybe. A no. Marky B, though, is going to keep this flag alive, and on your mini-map, you can see Enigma. Hmm. Yeah, that hurts to watch. Yeah, <laughs> crawl it in, Marky B. Crawl it in, my friend. Moose was on a five kill spree before that one. Marky on a two kill. Flux was on a four kill. That is 11 straight kills that TCM had over Enigma. Now it's Black and Sours trying to push out after initial kills. What can they do? Four minutes left on the clock. Down two flags. And it's going to be Sours with one pick. Won't be able to get a second one. We're jumping on board with Wonder, who has this PD dub. I'm really interested to see how he actually makes his PDW work because, you know, like you said, was it really nerfed that badly? And, you know, admittedly, a few of the players are having a bit of a laugh. You know, you see a few sniper rifles, a couple of chick but you know, the PDW, I still think it could maybe 
little bit work. Yeah. Bit. I mean, now's the time to test it. You're exactly out of the tournament. That. You exactly. might as well practice some new strategies, new weaponry, something you've been curious about but didn't want to pull out in a serious oh, match. And, uh, Flux. Flux keeps it dead, but we got Sowers coming in, taking out Flux and putting one in, so they're not out yet. They could force a game four, possibly a game five. And I wouldn't high-five you in that scenario, <laughs> but Sowers, it's time for some driving. Left side of the road, Sowers, it's UK. Did he play Need for Speed as a child? That's the question. Mm. So he's, looking, he's looking pretty good. Yep, yep. He's, Ring's he's clear, guys. Ring's clear. Lambo's good. Yep, I'm touching it. And meanwhile, <laughs> Wonder is running a flag while Sowers is entertaining himself Mario Kart style. A nice car kill from <laughs> Wonder as he takes out Marky B with the explosion. But there's one man behind enemy lines. It's Flux, and it's the Chicom. Uh-oh. That's Rich. Here comes behind. Richie from behind, and there is the return. The escort not so strong on the Enigma side. Yeah, they just weren't able to keep that flag. Going to keep it 2-1, 2 TCM. Luke's going to get a nice pick there with the B2-3R. Middle of the map, two and a half minutes remaining. Can Enigma try and get themselves more than one map in g 2 That's the big question at this point. Flux is just running right with the chicken. What's the scoreboard? Let's have a look at the scoreboard. You want right? to see? They're 25 and 10. Is that good? That's if we're considering he's using a chick on. What's happening with Luke? 9 and 20. I got it. I got to see. Luke, what, what's wrong, buddy? He's using a B23R. Oh, that's probably as his primary. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> that's probably not the best. Going way. for the knife. Uh oh, oh, you better no. sharpen that. Oh! <laughs> and the knife sharpener doesn't work out as Luke is taken down, jumping on board with Flux once again, doing some damage back at the base, smoking the flag, and he is going to pull this one through the middle. Sniper shots come from the center. Don't go that way. All right, I will. Challenges. <laughs> After Rich picks up one, and he will be punished for it. This one bang. was going to be Sowers with the wall bang. That was a very, very impressive shot. But, you know, just going back to Luke, I think we now know why he's not having the best of games after that. Here comes the Dirty knife. Do you reckon he's going to get it? He's going all bad grill style right uh, now. Ah, yep. That's not a knife kill. So he is trying a little bit. Just, now goes the trophy. B2-3R. Oh, oh. oh. This, oh. oh the return oh. knife from Flux. <laughs> oh, dear. Knifed in the back. Enigma pulled that flag away, though. And it, he's going to get around the corner. Uh -oh. oh, the cat pull comes in. Flux is actually desperately going to chase. He needs to try and get this cough. There's going to be one TCM player there. Uh -oh. Flag's going to turn around. Two-piece. Hello. Nice play. That actually going to put him close towards his health on missile pocket. Uh-oh. Also, we do have the flag out for TCM, but here zoom, comes zoom. Sowers with a little bzzz. Do he's going to get it? Bzzz. No, uh, Paul crap. driving, my friend. Uh, yep, up the stairs. Yep, I can do it. Oh! Big boom, mother duck! <laughs> oh, as if he got that kill, that's ridiculous. It looks like Enigma are going to be able to return that flag. No, they're not. Rich is going to keep it alive. Two people trying to rush it. Sal's is going to be from the left, and Black is going to be from the right. Still two flags to one, though. 40 seconds remaining. Puck it. It's not looking good if you're an Enigma fan. TCM and their crazy little strategies, including a chick on two piece, surely? Yeah, that gun is just OP. And look, the wine bottle in the kitchen still protected money just laying on the ground no one touching it the artwork has not been destroyed not a whole lot of damage through the middle of the map these guys have been focusing on the perimeter but man benson i feel bad for enigma right now i i kind of do it's that's a pretty nasty b23 that, right so from Luke. <laughs> well, that was good but he got turned on real bad and marky b is going to stand up and shake some hands 30 to 14 is going to be the score from flux 30 kills 14 deaths flux with the chicom Going it big, man. I think if I'm Flux, I stick with that gun all the time. That was that was very, very impressive. I mean, he was playing against people who weren't necessarily trying their Even then, their he wasn't missing against yeah. those people who weren't trying their hardest. That That is a valid point. He was playing very, very well. Might, might even see some Tricom later on in this tournament, if people have seen that game. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe uh, not. All right. So, in the end, it's going to be TCM winning a total of four games. Unfortunately, they lost six. And uh, yeah. they, they done. They done, they, they done goofed is what they done. They done. Enigma, congrats on your one win this weekend. Hey. And uh, that is going to do it for both of those teams. But yep. the joke match is over. <laughs> Consolation bracket ended. Coming up next, we have a serious matchup. This one has some real implications on the rest of the tournament. Yep. The top team will go up against the second place team from a different pool. We do the drawing later tonight. Yep. Is it going to be Envy? So far, they have a perfect record. Or will it be Millennium? Whoever wins the match gets first place in the pool. We're heading to a commercial break. When we come back, it's going to be the final match of the night. Benson, before we go, you got any plugs, any shout-outs here? I'm all good on shout-outs. All right, shout-out to Paul, Mr. Melmoth. 
keeping that game interesting for us. We'll be back after this commercial break.